Hello students. So today we are going to find out how canonical equations can be derived or find out with the help of Lagrangian. In general canonical equations you find out with the help of Hamiltonian but here today we are going to learn how can you find out the canonical transformation equation canonical equations with the help of this Lagrangian. So first question is what is canonical pair? What is canonical, canonically can you conjugate pair, really conjugate pair, conjugate pair. So canonically conjugate pair is the pair of a generalized coordinate and its corresponding generalized momentum that is PQ. So canonically conjugate pair is the pair of a generalized coordinate and its corresponding generalized momentum which satisfied it. If this pair is going to satisfy the Hamilton's equation of motion then it is called as canonically conjugate pair. So when you are going to call it as canonically conjugate pair if this pair of generalized coordinate and generalized momentum is going to satisfy Hamilton's equation of motion means this will be this will be q dot q dot this will be del h upon del p p and second equation will be p dot p dot will be equal to minus del h upon del q q so if this pair of p and q is going to satisfy these two equations then this pair is called as canonically conjugate pair so so these equations they are canonical equations they are called as canonical equations they provide us q dot and p dot so canonical equations are those equations we are going to which are going to provide us how q is changing with time how p is changing with time so if hamiltonian is given you can easily find out but question is if lagrangian is given in place of this hamiltonian if lagrangian is given if Lagrangian is given to us then how what we are going to do if Lagrangian is given then what we are going to do then we will use the simple concept what is P okay what is P beta or P is given by you are going to use this equation what is generalized momentum corresponding to a generalized coordinate that will be this one del L by del Q dot if if this pq or p is the is the corresponding generalized momentum corresponding to q then this will be p will be equal to del l by del q dot you are going to use this equation first second equation will be from where you will get second equation this will be d by dt in lagrangian equation of motion your equation is like this this will be del l by del q dot q dot minus del L by del Q. Q and this is equal to 0. What is this? This is Lagrange's equation of motion. Now in the bracket what is this del L by del Q dot? This is P. So if I place P here then this will be dP by dt. So what it will be? This will be P dot beta. And bring this term on the right hand side. So this is P dot equal to del L by del Q. Q this is the second equation this is the second equation which is which you are going to use to find out canonical equations with the help of Lagrangian now for example take this Lagrangian this question was asked in gate 2024 here Lagrangian is given this is the Lagrangian that is given this Lagrangian is given and what you have to find out you have to find out canonical equation of mercy so first I write Lagrangian here Lagrangian is m x dot y dot minus m omega is square omega naught is square x y how many canonical conjugate pairs are here one will be corresponding to x another will be corresponding to y so there are two canonically conjugate pair x px this is one pair second pair is y and it's conjugate momentum will be Py Py so now you have to find out the canonical equations for the variation of x and Px 
as well as for y and py. So first use this equation. Px will be equal to del L by del x dot. So I'm going to use this that Px, this generalized momentum corresponding to x, it will be how much? This will be del L by del x dot. Del L by del x dot. Now look at this expression. Where is x dot? X dot is here. So this will be m y dot. What it will be? This will be m y dot. So first equation will be one of the equation will be y dot is equal to this is px px and this will be written divided by m. This is one of the canonical equation y dot is this. Now consider this y. Its corresponding Conjugate momentum will be Py. So use this equation del L by del Y dot. What it will be? Y dot is here. So if you take the partial derivative, what you will get? You will get mx dot. So what will be x dot? This will be x dot. X dot will be here. You can write it as Py by M. Py by M. So you have to find out this the equation corresponding to this so you find out q dot here with the help of lagrangian not with the help of hamiltonian here second you are going to use this equation p dot is equal to del l by del q so what will be px dot what will be px dot px dot it will be equal to del l by del x del l by del x so what it will be where is this this is del l and x is here x is here. So how much it will be? This will be equal to minus m omega naught square y. y. So third canonical equation will be px dot px dot and this will be equal to minus m omega naught square y. This will be the third canonical equation in this case. What will be py dot? py dot this will be equal to del l upon del y del y and this will be equal to y is here y is here so this will be minus minus m omega naught is square and this will be x beta it will be x so this will be py dot py dot this will be equal to minus m omega naught is square y so in this way in this question with the help of Lagrangian, we directly find out the canonical, canonical equation for x dot, for px dot, for y dot and py dot. So answer of this question is these four equations. These four equations here are canonical equations. So not only with the Hamiltonian, you can find out canonical equation, but by carefully choosing, observing the problem, one can also use the Lagrangian to find out the canonical equations.